this started? Okay. Let's start now. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. It's uh, the day before Christmas Eve. It's like, I think, 9 o'clock out right now. And uh, I wanted to do a little video here to show everything in which I did for the holidays and uh, to say hello to Mike's family and Mike himself. And um, hopefully, you all will enjoy everything. And uh, here I am, right behind my. My pride and joy, my Lincoln Town car. You know, this is uh, my fun car here, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, I want you to. Sh I'm going to show you what my uh, my house looks like right here. All the work I put into it. So hopefully you can go ahead and see it. We're going to go ahead and pan the camera real quick, and you're going to be able to look at it real. Here you are. Here I'll take the camera. In fact, to be easier, so I can show what I want. Sorry, if it's going to get crazy, but there you go. This is just the um, the front of my house here. And uh, it's got the Grinch and his dog Max. And you have to forgive me if the autofocus is always going to be on. And then I have music out here. It's almost like a National Lampoon Christmas. And then uh, I also have characters on the house, not just the Grinch. I have Snoopy and uh, some more of the Grinch and the Chipmunks and Garfield Odie stocking and my favorite thing at least on the house is, is the old school lights the big ones and that's why I have the most of and this is just the front of the house with the garage and I did wrapping paper on the door and then over here swinging is uh, the yard with the tree and then I'm gonna I'm gonna back up here you can see we're gonna we're gonna go out to the street a little bit show you the house a little more from a further distance to forgive me I'm using a laptop here and uh, the webcam that I'm using here was a gift from Mike it's uh, very awesome we use it a lot when we play our video games at night Hang out. But here's the house from the street angle hold on there we go that's it uh, with the motion lights and uh, stuff in the front yard with candy canes and, and all that and uh, we'll keep going a little bit back so you can see the roof uh, I didn't just do uh, didn't just do that I did the roof as well there we there's the roof and all the lights and the snowman and all that fun stuff and then what I did to make it a little more fun and festive to make the house look like a gingerbread house almost is uh, I took cardboard and painted it white and then put uh, snowflake or snow or icing, as they want to say. And then my neighbors, my neighbors did a little something. And you can hear the music. Yeah, my neighbors are doing a little something right now. Most of them did little, little much. It's my friend Robin here. And uh, yeah, here's the. So you can tell, of course, I'm the, you know, the ridiculous uh, factor in the neighborhood here. I was doing some of this and watching National Lampoon's Christmas in between. But here we go, we'll go back up to the house. And uh, hopefully you can still see everything. Got some Ray Charles on right now. I didn't just do this side, I did the other side as well. But uh, all right, I just wanted to uh, give you guys this little tour here of this, and um, and uh, we'll keep it here, right, got it. right here on me. Let me see. All right, there we go. 
Well, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas, and I hope you get to see this before uh, you know, Christmas hits. But before I go, uh, I want to tell a little story here just for a moment, and um, hopefully you can uh, you know, get some heartfelt from it and uh, the spirit of Christmas. Uh, the story I heard is that um, a little boy was eight years old, and uh, he was going to school. And being eight, you know, you know, people are telling stories and saying, "Hey, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. You shouldn't believe in him. You know, it, you know you're acting childish." So uh, the little boy decided to say, "You know what? I'm going to go speak with my grandma." And uh, his grandma was someone that he trusted a lot, and uh, you know, they had this relationship. And his grandma said, "You know what?" Uh, tired of people saying that you know they don't believe in Santa Claus and he doesn't exist well let's let's go out and I'm gonna prove to you that he is real so him and his grandma went to a store and his grandma said look I'm gonna give you ten dollars and I want you to go into the store and I want you to buy something for someone just one person it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be someone you don't know but someone that is in need and for the holidays and here he was, eight years old, inside this store, and, and, and didn't, uh, you know, he's eight, didn't, didn't know big store, people everywhere. And uh, so he's in the store for a couple hours, his grandma's waiting for him, and he finally thinks of something. He thinks of someone, and that someone is a kid in school who doesn't have a jacket, is always cold, and it has a note uh, for the teacher to say, I can't, I can't be outside when it's too cold outside. So he got this jacket, he found the jacket, and he was like, you know what, I'm going to get this for him. This is who I have in mind. And he went up to the checkout uh, counter, and there was the lady behind the counter, and she said, uh, oh, uh, it looks like you're buying a gift and, you know, for someone. And he's like, you know what I am, and uh, this is the reason why and for who. And so the, checker, uh, the checkout lady was like, well, uh, here, give me the $10, and, and here's your, your jacket. And then he took the jacket and ran out to the car and said, Grandma, look, I have a gift. I have something for this person. And Grandma was like, you know what, let's, let's go home and we're going to wrap this and then we're going to deliver it. So later on that evening, when it got a little bit later, they went over to his house and rang the doorbell and ran and hid in a bush. So here are Grandma and him hiding in a bush. And they, yeah, lo and behold, he opens the door and sees this gift wrapped. And, and there it is. And he takes it inside. And his Grandma turned to him and said, look, this is what Christmas is all about and we are helping Santa Claus so as long as you continue to do this Santa Claus will always be real in your heart and then she also said that um, every time that you see the receipt from this from this jacket we're going to use it as a bookmark in our Bible and lo and behold in the Bible that stood stood in there and guess what that jacket was twenty dollars so you know what it came in handy you see how the power of giving just keeps on going but anyways i hope that power of giving will go on to you once again i wish you all a merry christmas and a happy new year